Hey, what's up everybody? JR Specie here with another box break video and today we're ripping a 1993 Upper Deck Series 2 home of the Derek Jeter rookie card. So this will be a fun one. Uh, PSA 9's of this card are selling currently for 100 bucks and PSA 10's are currently selling for 300 bucks. So we got some sponsors today. Uh, so they're paying by the stack. So we have a uh, you know, your traditional top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Alrighty, and today's sponsors are top left is going to be me. And then the top right is going to moi. Bottom left, ooh, me again. And the bottom right is, oh, it's a su surprise, it's me. Cool, so that means that uh, I get all the cards in this box. Because I haven't sold any of these cards yet. However, what that means is that this is an official announcement to sell breaks. If you guys are interested in buying into a break, email me. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to advertise a box to break at the beginning of a video. And that's your opportunity to send me a payment through PayPal. Here's my pay PayPal information. I uh, just use my email, fpspcj at yahoo.com. Please send friends and family so I don't have to pay a fee. All prices will include shipping back to you. All prices will also include um, a full stack of cards in a typical 36 count box. The only way it'll be different is if it's a box that's got several hits, and then we'll do buy the card or you'll pick a team. So, with that being said, our next box break is going to be uh, Series 1 1990 Leaf super iconic set um, pretty easy PSA 10's in this I believe Series 1 has Nolan Ryan and Ken Griffey Jr. Um, so if you're interested in buying into this break for one whole stack nine packs is going to be 25 bucks and that includes return shipping so as soon as I have four people committed um, and that pay me for this and friends and family that way you can't go back and say uh, I didn't like my cards and request a refund from PayPal um, that way there's no issues so 25 bucks you get a full stack of these I'll open them on camera as soon as everything's paid for and that includes your shipping so email me immediately I'm sure four um, it's only four stacks guys so I'm sure four is going to sell pretty fast so email me if you're interested. Remember $25 for one stack of nine cards. And uh, in the order that I get paid, you can choose if you want top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Okay? Uh, if that's too complicated, then uh, we'll just do a randomizer on it. All right, so there's that information, guys. Let's take these, get them out of here, and start cracking. Fifteen cards per pack. I've had a lot of luck with these in the past. Uh, I've opened up um, a fair amount of these. I bought this box in Long Beach and uh, I was worried about them sticking because I've had issues with it in the past. And the guy had a box of Series 1 also. So I asked him, long story short, I asked him if I could open up one of the packs of Series 1 because they came from the same dealer, same deal, blah, blah, blah. So they should be from the same home. I said, can I open up some? And he said, uh, all right. So I opened up one to see if they're sticking. And these ones right off the bat uh, don't feel too bad. That box, The pack I opened up was not bad. I think there was like two cards that had a little tiny bit of stickage. So and these are, yeah, not bad, guys, not bad. So we're hoping... We're hoping for some decent stuff. And of course we got this horrible, horrible issue here. But the good news is they're not sticking. So if you're, uh, this is going to probably be a kind of a long video. So if, if you don't want to go through the cards one by one with me, uh, then just skip through to the front, to the end and I'll, and I'll show you what I get. I'm just kind of doing a quick rough run through to see if, because we're only, I mean there's nothing else we really want in here except for Jeter's, so. Yeah, I'm just making sure I don't have any Jeter stuck to anything, so. And this is uh, an example of what the Jeter looks like. It's a top prospect card, gold on the bottom. 
kind of condition sensitive that dark edge up there uh, prone to chipping so we'll cross our fingers that that doesn't happen like I said I'll try to go through these as fast as I can because it's pretty annoying with the uh, they're, 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 they're not easy cards to shuffle through and uh, and uh, they're all you know front and back and so on so there's a Delgado not a bad one it's not a rookie it's a second year but I'm just gonna kinda bust through these kinda quick because I don't think you guys want to see every single card or maybe you do whatever I'll show you every card I don't care but we're just looking for the Jeter I don't know if uh, so far we I, I can't remember with all the ones that I've opened uh, I don't recall if you get one of those star rookies per pack or or how it goes. So if that's the case, if I notice a pattern here, I'll just look for that star rookie card and then I'll just move on from there. I believe it's the second to last card here. Let's see if we're right. Nope, not in this case. But in this case it is, yeah, second to last card. Chad Matola. Lifetime. Uh minor leaguer basically there's the, the checklist card there's the Jeter right where is it there 449 yeah Ted Mottola great ball player uh, I've seen him in AAA a bunch he'd come up for a minute uh, there's an insert right there but the poor guy you know they would never keep him and, and he'd go down the minors and he'd hit 34 35 home runs so I, I have no idea why uh, he ne he never really made it uh, up in the majors. He didn't do bad by any means. He just he just couldn't uh, keep a starting job up there. Okay, well, okay. I guess they're all kind of sorted all over the place. Mark Newfield. So we got two in that pack. It'd be cool if we get a. I don't remember what the odds are on these things right here but I've pulled a lot of I, I'm pretty sure I've pulled two to three Jeters in boxes before uh, I don't know what the actual odds of them are but or why I, I think uh, I pulled that many <laughs> I did pull two to three I don't know if it's if it's common or uncommon but I'm gonna go with uncommon because um, these boxes don't sell for as much as I thought and if you're able to pull three Jeters out of the box Especially with the way they're selling right now on uh, in graded form you would think that the boxes would be selling for more But I don't know. Okay, let's see Just to make sure I don't got any doubles or anything stuck there Kirby Puckett Kevin Moss Right, so look at this guy right here. Back in the day, his rookie season, he hit 21 home runs, then he hit 23. And he was the biggest thing, you know, since sliced bread uh, with that rookie year. 21 home runs. And now you got guys like Pete Alonzo, who I just saw hit 47. Hit two home runs on the 9th, September. Total of 47 now. Gosh, these cards are like, they're so hard to even like slide together. Be careful, folks. You never know if there's a cheater in here. Don't want to go ripping those corners. Or ripping, you know, pulling them off. And oh, Ray McDavid, Jose Oliva. Now well, we've gotten a fair amount of prospects already. No cheater yet. Ripkin. I'll go back through here and see if there's anything worth. Uh, you know, getting graded as far as the Hall of Famers go. But obviously do that off camera after I get done with this rip. That's because uh, I'm already ready to start getting my cards going for the next Long Beach show. It's about Super Bowl weekend roughly. Basically the first week of... Oop, 444. That's not Jeter. First week of... Uh, February, I believe it is this year, this coming year. I'll drive back down, give them, you know, lots more cards. So 
So, Mary Bonds, Phil Hyatt. Yeah, when you're buying these boxes, guys, you got to be careful that the cards don't stick. Like I said, one thing that I did was make sure that the ones in the pack from the other box, the Series 1 box, didn't stick. So I take a chance on these ones right here because of it. Derek Wallace. Nope. Charles Johnson. Good prospect back in the day. He had a, he had a pretty lengthy career. You know, he wasn't... He wasn't horrible. He just wasn't the player that they expected him to be. A few rain in there. Well, that's what your cards look like usually if they stick. All those dots of paper stock missing. But that's not the case in, with this box. So. Come on, we need a Jeter. Michael Tucker, and that stinks. Look at that chipping on the edge, man. Good thing that wasn't a Jeter. Michael Tucker had an okay career. Kevin McReynolds, I really like him with the Mets. McGuire again. Kevin Mitchell. Doc Gooden, actually a great hitter. I think he hit seven home runs in his career, or eight or nine, something like that. Of course, Mike Hampton of the Mets, pitcher. He hit. Seven home runs in a season. He's a great pitcher. Dimitri Young, ridiculously good uh, baseball card collection. He had uh, basically PSA 10s of all of the, you know, Hall of Fame rookies and stuff like that. He was known to have, and he had them for a long time, and then uh, then he ended up sending them all to auction and sold them all off. I think he probably spent all of his money that he made in baseball and was kind of going broke. So he sold off the collection. He had PSA 10s of Hank Aaron. I mean, you know, some of them were the only 10s in existence, and he had them. Come on. Right, if I haven't pulled one by now, then I I think the odds of pulling multiples are going to be kind of tough. That's an insert there, the Reggie Jackson one with Kirby. I forgot what I was just saying. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, yeah, if I haven't pulled, pulled one by now, it's probably not going to pull multiples. Tyrone Hill. Glen Allen Hill almost looks like Albert Bell. Dave Winfield. Moving right along, y'all. Another Kevin Stocker. Rick Green. Fred McGriff. Tim Raines, another Kirby. I'm definitely getting multiples in this box. Just the wrong multiples. Yeah, so guys, if I get a if I get paid for all the uh Tyrone Hill. Chad Benning or Brad Bennington. I was it Chad Pennington, the Jets quarterback in the early 2000s. Um, get paid for this other box uh, tonight. Then I will open it on camera tomorrow and post a video tomorrow. So I really love these cards, the uh, checklists. These are great for getting autographs. They just look really nice. They are they're all nice and they're done by Vernon Wells. Senior, who's uh, the father of Vernon Wells, the old player for the Blue Jays, and the Angels, and the Yankees for a minute. Dick Perez did the Donruss Diamond Kings, and Vernon Wells did the Upper Deck uh, 
checklist. JT Snow rookie. Butch Husky, come on. Nope. Oh, so there's doubles of Husky. Doubles of Dimitri Young now. Doubles of Daryl. Gosh, you know, you get a freaking box and it's nice and nothing sticks. And uh, and you, you can't pull a bunch of <laughs> the Jeters out of it. But if I get a box that's sticking like crazy, that's going to be my box that I'm going to have all the Jeters in. And they're all going to get stuck and they're all going to be horrible. Barry, Kevin again, lots of doubles, guys. Got the wrong box. Oh, and there's doubles right in one pack. Good news for me is I got two of these boxes. But I was hoping to, to do well on both. Maybe Jeter will be in the bottom of the box. John Burke. Rondell, Bernie. Jody Reed. Jose Lind. Okay, moving right along. Charles Johnson, Derek Wallace. Doubles, doubles, again. Come on, where's my doubles of the Jeter? I'm getting a cramp in my arm. This is exhausting. Opening all these cards and not getting anything good. Rich Becker. Juan Gonzalez. Kevin Maz again. More doubles. Cecil Fielder. Barry Bonds Futures. That's got a gold signature. I haven't been paying attention to see if those are normal or not. Of course the card's not in great shape, but... Those ones there are all are kind of condition sensitive with chipping and stuff on out of this box anyways. Bo Jackson, Ray McDavid, Greg Maddox, Calligan. David Need, the star of the Rockies. It's supposed to be anyways. He was the uh, number one draft pick by the Rockies. Oh, we're close. That was one one card number away from Jeter. He's 449. All right, Eddie Murray hologram card. Check that one out. See which one's getting graded. Eric Young, Eric Davis, Greg Vaughn. So those holograms are tough. I'll take a look at it and see if it's worthy of getting graded. Super easy to scratch and blah blah blah. So Delgado. No. Okay guys. This box has been a great box for doubles, but not the right doubles, like I said. Luis Gonzalez. <clears throat> Paul O'Neill. All right, I'm gonna pause this and all right, straighten those up because they are gonna be a a mess all over the place if I hadn't. Okay, guys, come on, Jeter, Chad Matola, and 421 checklist again. You got doubles of the freaking checklist. Still no Jeter. We got about eight packs left here. I can't believe we haven't gotten a Jeter. Mark Newfield again. Michael Moore. Yeah, if you guys buy the. Uh, the breaks from me, I'll make sure everything's uh, packaged nice in team bags. If you get something good, um, and I'll sleeve them. 
topple them for you, chip them back that way, but I'll make sure everything's wrapped real nice and safe. Manny Ramirez! Come on, it's first Manny, so maybe we'll get a Jeter here. Nope. Cliff Lloyd. Alrighty. Alex Cole, Ray Sanchez. Cannot seem to hit the Jeter. This is really frustrating. That's a nice bag well to get signed. Hall of Hammer. Starting to get a little bit discouraged here, guys. And yeah. oh, oh, there it is. 4.49. Derek Jeter. Now the question is: Is he going to be chipped up or decent? Uh, he's pretty good. That's just like card residue there. Yeah, we'll clean him up real nice. So there's one. He'll go to PSA. And about our third or fourth Matola. Cross our fingers we can get another one in the bottom of this box. And Winfield. It looks like I have eight packs left now. Apparently I had 12 left earlier. Todd Jones. That's a nice Mattingly. Yeah, friggin' got a little tiny ding right there. Sick, sick card though. The hologram. Very nice card. I'd totally get that graded if it didn't have that little ding right there. What are you gonna do? Right out of the pack. That's why these cards can be worth so much money because they're just tough to get high grade and for reasons like that. Strawberry, nice salmon. Salmon had a pretty good career. I mean, he didn't quite live up to the hype uh, when he got when he got drafted and started playing in the majors. Uh, but he wasn't he wasn't a slouch. He was all right. Oh, look at that. Two top prospects, Calvin Murray. Freaking in the same pack. Ugh. Frustrating. Because I want to be greedy today and I want to get lots of Jeters. So, there. Almost like Frank Thomas sitting there in a wrong uniform, though. I pause real quick and clean this mess up. All right, <clears throat> got those cleaned up. Sorry, they don't slide very good, so I didn't want to sit here and make you watch me carefully stack them into a pile. <laughs> Cliff Floyd, no, nope, wrong number again. Manny Ramirez. I was hoping for another Jeter, obviously, because he's my favorite, and I'm greedy, like I said, with this box, anyways. 
Hill Hyatt. Three times card. Pretty cool. Ryan Bowen. Another good prospect who did absolutely nothing. Come on, Jeter. Nope. Alright, well, we got one. Alright, I quit being greedy. I'm happy we got one, and I'm happy it's pretty clean. It's better than getting three that are ugly. You know what I mean? So, I take back my greed. Almost done, guys. Three more packs. Hang out. Stay with me. 441, Benji Gill again. Pat Listash, Rookie of the Year. Who didn't live up to his hype either? Dave Magadan, old Matt. Used to love him. Used to try to impersonate him batting in the backyard growing up. Yeah, really very kind of stiff, but uh, nice hojo. Um, kind of stiff, but kind of perfect. I is a very sophisticated batter. <laughs> that makes any sense. Like he looked like. <laughs> he looked like an intelligent man by the way he batted. I don't know if that makes any sense. It probably doesn't. But anyways, okay. Lots of Michael Tuckers. Charlie Huff, the knuckleballer. Domingo Martinez. Pete O'Brien. Last pack. Come on. We need some cheater love in the last pack. Come on. If you guys wonder why I open the packs like that very carefully, if you watch my PSA reveal videos, you'll see why. That's why I have so many high-grade cards, because I'm careful with my cards. Nope. Frank. Frankie Rodriguez. All right. No, Jeter. Okay. Oh, I forgot to do a recap for anybody who wanted to fast-forward. Here is the recap, everybody. We got one Jeter. One Jeter. Nice and clean, though. So, cross our fingers. This gets a 9, uh, at least. It's uh, it's not a Gem Mint 10. It's not uh, an 8, either. But, we'll hope for a 9. Alright, thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, don't forget, let me know. Uh, just shoot me an email. You got the email. Um... Regarding the, uh, where is it? Here it is. Shoot me an email right there if you want to get it on the break here. Since 25 bucks per stack. Uh, first one to pay me gets to pick their stack and then so on and so forth. Uh, if I get paid immediately, um, which if you want in, then I expect you to pay immediately so I, so I don't have to sit and wait forever to open this. But um, yeah. So shoot me the shoot me an email. Tell me you want in, uh, then pay me, and we'll open this on camera, and I'll get your card shipped to you. Twenty five dollars shipped. Thanks, guys. Later.